Hi everybody, uh, welcome to The Hop, a mason jar love affair. Um, this one is uh, sponsored by, um, or put together by Tell Him Thank You. Um, her YouTube channel is going to be in the description box below, along with some other important information like the participants in this YouTube hop. Um, I'm here to share with you the projects that I made. I made actually two projects, which was what we needed to do for this hop. Um, so let's get started. The first one is a really small one, but it actually took me a very long time. So I made the shaker jar uh, tag, and you can see here, there is a mason jar. That's the theme of the, th the hop. So um, that's what I went with. Um, now this mason jar um, shaker is actually made with multiple layers of die cuts. And um, some shaker bits. So let me show you the die that I use. This is the die for the tag and this is a paper tray ink die set. There's actually uh, different dies that uh, I think they were all released at the same time and um, this is my favorite of the ones that were released. And then I use this stamp and die set well, um, for my mason jar shaker. So here is the die right here that I used and they have both the backer and the shaker jar like the outline of the jar and it has a stamp that coordinates with it you can see here um, and then there's the sentiment that I also used so this is called tag creations jar it's it's, it's being hidden by this um, joyful jar dies um, and you can see this set from paper tray ink or ink to paper actually um, same company or different companies same ownership um, actually has other bits and pieces that you can put inside the mason jar like these flowers and this is a layered die set there is no um, stamps for the actual flowers and such in here you um, you die cut these two backer pieces and then you assemble it based on what's in here um, and they have a key for it so um, the stamp set is called joyful jars so that coordinates with it but again it just has the jar here and then some sentiments to go along with it so the tag that i created is actually using all paper trading supplies in terms of the paper this is from the nostalgic notions market kit um, and then this is aqua mist cardstock and i've cut it probably five or six times um, and layered it up. I did not use foam tape because I didn't want the sides to have that white or black um, sides here and so I just went ahead and cut it several times to layer it up, cut the backer piece on the back, and then put some acetate in between the topmost layer and the layer that's underneath it and glued it all together. So that's my little tiny tag for the jar. Okay, um, the next uh, project that I did was actually um, kind of fun to do. I haven't done an altered project in a while. Um, I used a couple of different things. This is the circle stitch die from Paper Tray Ink. And I used this third size here. It's the middle one, basically. Um, and then this stitched with love die set. And I only used the buttons here from the set. So uh, those are the two things that I use for this next project. And it is an altered mason jar. So I painted this jar. Um, I don't know exactly what color it is, but it is um, acrylic paint. I just painted it on the outside and then used some um, sandpaper to kind of rough up the raised parts of the jar to give it a more distressed look. And then I cut out two squares of this gingham print fabric um, to put over the lid and um, this is I think this fabric I got from Carla um, during one of my times at her house crafting and I cut a, the circle piece of felt from using that circle die and I stitched all the way around it um, the DMC floss that I used that it's the blue is one I got at Hobby Lobby recently and it is number let's see if I can find it it's on this thing 964 that's that blue um, floss and the red that I used is also DMC floss number 321 so those are the two colors that I used to stitch 
here. And the word buttons was actually spelled out using some paper tray dies. Um, the Tiny Alpha set, which I didn't show you yet. This one right here, Tiny Stitched Alpha. And what I did to do that was I found the letters that I wanted and I taped them onto a piece of washi tape. And then I took that washi tape and turned it face down onto the die before I ran it through so that they would all be kind of lined up along the bottom of the tape. So you can see that I stitched the word buttons in the top here on the jar. This um, felt piece is just glued down with some fabric glue to the actual red gingham fabric. And I sewed the die cut buttons um, from the from a different color felt. This is aqua mist felt from Paper Tray Ink um, so that it all matched. And inside of this jar are a bunch of buttons. And not only are they just buttons, but they're all metal buttons. So I, I can still open the lid of the jar and get in here. Um, so there's that ring. You can see it's not glued down to the ring. So um, there we have it, a whole bunch of gold metal buttons and it's full. So there's just a whole bunch of different types of metal buttons in here that I um, found. I think I got these at a um, consignment shop or something like that um, for a really good deal. So that is my altered project, and I thought I would just go ahead and share with you. Um, I'm going to store this in my craft room. Um, it's nice to look at, and when I want a metal button, I know where to go for it. So those are my projects for the hop. I hope you enjoyed it, and make sure you check out the other ladies that are participating. The information um, will be in the description box below. And thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.